Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at basic clip envelope modulation. Basically, what clip envelope modulation allows you to do is change parameters over time, just like any other kind of modulation. First, let me show you where you can access the clip envelopes. First, you select the audio clip that you want to modify. Then come down here to the lower left corner in the clip view, and hit this little E button right here and from here you have access to the parameters that you need to do your modulation. Now when you open this window you have a couple of drop-down boxes here. The top drop-down box here selects either the clip or a device on the track that you want to modify. The bottom drop-down box selects specific parameters on whatever you have selected up here. So for instance I want to modify the clip itself and specifically within the clip I want to modify the transposition or the tuning. Now before I show you how to make some changes to this loop using modulation, let me play back the original audio for you. I have here a breakbeat sample which is from the Breakbeat Electronica pack from PrimeLoops.com. I'll play it back for you so you can hear the original. So as you can hear it's a nice, clean, but glitchy breakbeat loop. Make sure that you start out with high quality source material such as this loop. If you're trying to work with a low quality loop, you run the risk of spending more time cleaning up the loop than actually writing your track. So definitely start out with great quality audio. So now let's go and carry out some modulation on this clip and you can hear what I'm talking about. Again I have clip transpose selected here. So I'm going to go through and actually change the tuning of some of these hits. And all I'm doing here is double clicking on this red envelope line here and creating what are called breakpoints. The breakpoints represent changes in the default state of the loop. Now if I have a parameter such as transposition selected, what each of these little horizontal bands represent is one semitone of change from the default tuning. So I've created four breakpoints here and dragged them into kind of a rectangular shape around a few of the hits. And as you can see, when I hover over one of the breakpoints, it shows that I have a plus two semitone change to these hits. So I'm going to start the loop playing back, and you can hear what the changes sound like as they occur. Tune this one down a couple semitones. So as you can hear, this is a really easy way to do some extreme tuning changes on your original loop. So for a second, let's just recap what we've seen so far. You know what clip envelopes are. They're basically a way to modulate certain parameters in a track. You know where to get at them simply by selecting an audio clip coming down here to the E button which stands for envelope and when you toggle it you get the envelopes view here. You've got your two text drop down boxes. The top box represents the device that you want to modify or the clip and then the bottom box represents the specific parameter that you're going to want to modulate over here. As you can see we've already set up a transposition envelope and indeed it does change the tuning over the playback period of the loop. Now we can extend this very same concept to devices that you drag onto the track. So it turns out that clip envelope modulation allows you to modify not only characteristics of the clip, but also parameters of specific devices that you have loaded onto the track. So I'm going to go over here to track view, and all you have to do to view the devices on your track is to double click the name of the track up here. And then as you come down here, you'll see that I already have a compressor loaded onto this track. Now we're not going to talk a whole lot about the compressor, we're not going to modulate it with clip envelopes or anything like that, but I should mention that this is a handy thing to have on your track, especially when you're dealing with a lot of modulation of effects. The reason for that is that when you modulate effects more and more, you run the risk of clipping your output, that is, going above zero decibels full scale, which is represented by this little line that I'm clicking next to over here on the master output section. So what I've done with this compressor is created what's called a brick wall limiter. 
A brick wall limiter simply allows you to do whatever you want on a track and not have to worry about clipping the output. The way I've set it up here is to set the attack on the compressor all the way down to 0 0.01 milliseconds. I've set the release to 45.3 milliseconds. I have the ratio right here set to infinite. The knee on zero decibels, which it's set at by default. And then the threshold is also left at its default position of zero decibels. So back to clip envelope modulation. As I said before, we can modify device parameters as well as clip parameters with the clip envelopes. So let me show you what I mean by using a couple of devices in this way. I'll drag a redux unit onto the track right before the compressor here. And now I'm going to come down here and turn it on soft downsampling, and that's just a matter of taste. It's soft and hard downsampling have different sounds. I prefer soft downsampling. And I'm also going to set the downsample rate all the way up by default. Now when I come back to the clip view here, double clicking on the clip, and play it back, by default the redux effect will always be on the clip. The way to change that is to simply take this red line that we saw before and drag it all the way down. So now by default there's no redux on the clip. This is the best method to go through and select only certain hits in the clip that you want the effect to apply to. So now when I set the clip to start playing back and I modify the sample soft parameter of the redux unit here, you'll hear the redux effect come in on the specific hits that I choose. So I'll play it back. And just like we did with the transposition parameter, I'm going to create breakpoints. And as you can hear there, the redux came in following that envelope that I defined here. Let's go through that process once more with another device. Go back to my track view here. I'll choose a simple delay and I'll put it before the redux. I'll set up some interesting delay settings and turn the feedback up just a bit. Feedback on a delay device simply defines for how long the delay effect will trail out after it's initially triggered. I'll go back to the clip, and as you can see, simple delay is already selected. I'm going to select the dry-wet balance. Now all dry-wet means is the balance between the affected version of the audio and the original unaffected version of the audio. So we're going to want to set this all the way dry by default simply by dragging the red line to the bottom as we did before. Now anytime I bring up the envelope here by creating breakpoints, again like we did before, it's going to bring the dry wet parameter closer to the wet position than the dry position. And of course what that means is that more of the effect will come through in the audio. So by doing this I can choose what specific hits in the loop I want to be delayed. I'll choose a few hits here and then play back the clip and you can hear what I mean. Now before I leave you, I want to show you a slightly more advanced version of clip envelope modulation. Now what I have here is a modified version of the breakbeat that we were working with before but I've spent a little more time creating various modulation changes in some of the devices. Here's what it sounds like. As you can see in here, this technique is a very simple way to create dramatic changes in the effects over the playback time of a clip. So let's recap all of that just one more time. You can create interesting and complex modulations on your sound simply by altering the clip envelope, which is contained in the clip itself. You just double click on the clip, turn on your E button here, and then choose your parameter and device here, and then simply make changes using breakpoints in the envelope line here. I'll see you next time for more music production tips and tricks. Stay creative.